Okay, this is going to be the second part of our pirate ship video. And what we're going to be focusing primarily on here is how do we cut shapes out or make holes in our shapes. It's going to be super important when we get to, especially doing our, our dragster racers and those kinds of things. So first thing that we're going to do, if you haven't figured this out yet, that everything we do is bound by the lines of the boxes that we're working with. So I've got my arbor tool here, reopened my shape up. What we want to do is kind of work with this play structure. So we're going to have half of it is going to be depressed down. It's like a player back half we're going to have a uh, like a play house like a shaded area on it so the first thing that we want to do is we have to create another offset so we go under where our push pull tool is we get the offset tool and we are going to create an offset of three inches so we're going to do three inch symbol is shift and the key next to the enter key and enter and that's going to give us our offset right and so what that's going to give us is a little lip so that kids don't fall out of our playground or anything like that then we're going to draw a line, cut our ship in half. The half is going to be the, the deck, and the other half is going to be like the playhouse or treehouse type thing. So we're going to go back on the edge of that new line that we just made, and we want to find the midpoint halfway for our, for our pirate ship. So if we scroll along on that end point on that line, it'll turn that blue to let us know we've hit the midpoint. Once we hit the midpoint, we're going to hit our click once, drop our pencil, we're gonna drag our pencil straight back along that green line to the edge, and we're gonna go right back to midpoint right there. So you had midpoint to midpoint. Click again. We've made a line to cut our shape. Okay, so now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna to go to our push pull tool. We've got our push pull tool. We're gonna to go to this front part here. Notice we got all the little dots. Let us know we're selected. Click once. We're gonna push and pull it down. We're gonna push it down some. We're gonna push it down one foot and we're gonna give it the symbol. So that's gonna give us a nice little kind of a wall so kids don't fall out of the our playhouse. So with our push pull tool still selected, now we're gonna make our, our treehouse type structure. So if we click on this back part, we're gonna raise that part up. But what we want is we wanna make a floor. So you guys really wanna pay attention to what we're doing here. So I click once. And that's going to give me my push pull. Now, this really isn't going to give me a floor because I'm raising up the whole thing. So after I've clicked once, so I've selected it, what you want to do is then hit the control key. Just press and release it once. Control. What that does is that says, okay, you're going to make a new uh, piece on top of your existing piece. So now I'm raising up, and I'll show you here in a second, I made a new piece on top of our existing. We'll make this three feet, three, and the foot symbol. Hit enter. And we have got our new shape. So now if I orbit around this, here's what you guys are going to see. See, here was my original, this little right down here. So I've got, this is my original piece here. When I hit the control key, instead of just raising this one up, I created a new piece that went right on top of that piece there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is this is the most important part of this. So for this part of it is we're going to make the holes. Okay, so again, I can't push a hole out of this because I don't have a, a spot or anything like that. So I'm going to again go to that offset tool, go on this face, and I'm gonna bring this in and I wanna do three and the inch symbol, three inches. So I've got a nice little offset. So I've got the square. So what we're gonna do is cut this center part out. Now here's how we're gonna do this. What we're gonna do is we wanna turn so that this is not, you don't wanna push pull this way. Because what you have to do is you have to be able to see the back side of your model. So what we're going to do is turn this so I can see the front, but I can also see one of my back corners, right? So I'm going to do this back corner here, which would really be to the left of your screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the push-pull tool. And you see the push-pull tool has this little red arrow at the top of it. I'm going to select, I'm going to do my push-pull, and I'm going to push it through my model. Right? And when I get it pushed through my model, what you want to do is move that red arrow so that the red arrow goes all the way back to that end point. And that red arrow is on that far corner end point. Click again, and that removes your shape. Now, you might have to do this a couple of times. So if you mess this up, you can hit the undo button, which is right down here. Go back, try it again. It's going to take a little bit to get this. The good news is you get two more times to practice it. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on to this side. 
We're going to add another offset. So we're going to add an offset onto this side. We'll make this four inches, four inches. All right. And now what we're going to do again, we got to turn our offset so I can see. Now, this is going to be a kind of a tough one because what I'm looking at is I'm actually going to go to this corner, that little corner right there. So I'm going to go from here down to this corner because this is a smaller piece. So I'm going to do my push pull tool again. I'm going to go push pull tool. I've got that little red arrow. I'm going to select, see how it turns the little dots on there. I'm going to click once to start pushing it. I'm pushing it through. I'm going to go down and I got to select that little end point dot there. And I hit the button and I've gotten rid of that one. So I'm going to orbit around and you can see I've got that part done. So I'm going to come back around to this last side here. And I'm going to create another offset. Go offset. Bring that in. We'll make it so it matches four inches. All right again. So I can see. So I'm looking straight on. That's not good. So I'm going to use my orbit. I'm going to orbit again just enough so I can see. I'm going to go to this back corner right here again. I'm going to go back to my push pull tool. Push through, and I'm looking to see that little red dot, so that red arrow. So I'm going to go the red arrow down. I'm going to find that endpoint. I'm going to line that little red arrow right up with the endpoint. Click it, and it is gone. So there is kind of our play area. Right now, what we want to do is we're going to uh, add, we want the roof to look a little different, and so this is where again your creativity can come in how you're gonna make your roof. So this is one of your creative elements so far. So we're gonna get our line and we're gonna get our line tool. We're gonna to go across this top and we're gonna to go to the midpoint. We're gonna find that midpoint. We're gonna drag a line straight across on that midpoint, midpoint to midpoint. So we've cut this shape into two. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna raise that roof up to make it look like it's actually a roof. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna do the push pull because we're not gonna pull up one side or the other side. We're gonna do the move tool. So we're gonna click move, move. We're gonna go back to this line, but what you have to do, this is where it gets important. You have to move it along the midpoint because we're gonna drag the middle of that line. So you're gonna find that midpoint that turns that blue. You're gonna click once to, to start activating it. And then that's going to allow you that I can lift this up. Now here's where you can get you can make your roof as, as high pitched as you want, as low pitch as you want. You can have your roof tilted off to the side, have your roof tilted off to the other side. I'm gonna have mine kind of right in the middle. I think that looks like a pretty good roof there. So you're gonna make your roof however you want to make your roof, okay? And if we kind of circle around and we get looking at this, it looks like it's in, we're in doing some pretty good shapes. So now we're gonna start adding uh, in the next video are portholes and some custom elements and really kind of getting our stuff together. So we're just about to a, to a really good spot. It's starting to really look like a pirate ship. Make sure that you hit save to save your model and you come back for the third video when you are ready to go.